today's video, I'm going to be using the Simply Gilded Desert Dance, which is the, I think, April subscription box. Um, so if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and I'll be linking all of the supplies in the description box below so you can check down there to see where I got this. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into this plan with me. So as you can see, I got quite a few different styles of washi tape and one thing I've been finding recently with my planning style is I really like dynamic washi sticker sets. So that's to say like, although I think it looks great if it's like one or two, maybe three colors, when a set has so many different colors, like this one has beautiful reds and oranges and purples and blues. It just seems to give me a lot of variety in how I can put the craft supplies together. And also like I can use different colored ink to signify different things in the planner. So I might use one for like social events and one for workout things. And I do like color coordinating. I actually used to color coordinate my entire planner. So like, I think it was pink was like my social events and I used pink throughout the whole planner for the whole year. So I liked that every time I looked at it, I could see, oh, okay, pink, this is a social event, but like there's something really nice about doing these different like colored themes. Am I right? So what I'm doing here is, as you guys know, if you've seen my other videos, I like to use the washi tape to outline the various borders. And one really cool thing about this washi tape set is it came with these super skinny washi tapes. Actually, I think it was an add-on. So it's something that doesn't come with a default kit, but you can add it on. And I've been loving these skinny washi tapes because they're so versatile. You can sneak them in anywhere. And I love how these have that nice metallic, um, pattern on it and so it just gives it like an extra shine and I kind of like how it gives the sides a border that kind of just frames the planner in a way that makes it look really put together and yeah just adding some more of this sort of ombre style washi tape along the bottom here and the reason that I'm only covering these days is because I actually had a trip so I'm using an airplane sticker from its planning time uh, to highlight that that's what these this row stands for. I was thinking of adding a row of the yellow on top of it to make it stand out more, but then I decided it looks fine like it is. So just zooming in here, I was noting that um, the day stickers, I think they don't quite cover the full number and letters and all that fun stuff. So I think I'll just use a little washi tape to help fill in any part of it that's missing. And I'm just going ahead and adding a little bit of white out here to try to make it look a little bit more put together. And I'm gonna go ahead and just white out the rest of that writing. I did a little trial run of the sticker and you could see through it a little bit. So I decided to just go ahead and white out the rest of it. And I'm oftentimes too lazy to do this step because you guys know I'm more about planner peace and just getting it done so you can actually use your planner. But on this day, I felt like making it look extra put together. So yeah, just sticking those day boxes and going ahead and sticking those down in the planner here. And I don't know why, but I decided to start at the end of the week and make work my way back. Um, I think it had something to do with the way the text was aligned on the other side, but then I whited it out all out anyway. So, <laughs> oh, well, you know, when you decorate your planner and you're using it to get organized, I think do you and just do whatever it takes to get everything down in the planner. So yeah, I did end up using a bit more of this skinny washi tape just to kind of make up the gap. There was like a little space in between where the words had been. And yeah, I just ended up putting this border here just to kind of make it look a little bit more put together. And just correcting a little bit here. If you guys watch a lot of plan with me's, um, or actually if you don't watch a lot of plan with me's, you may not know that a lot of planners like, like to pick up their washi tape and their stickers and place them back down. So don't ever feel like you have to get it perfect the first time that you're doing it. It's definitely a bit of a, pro a process and you'll make mistakes along the way. Some of them you'll be able to fix and some of them you won't and you just have to roll with it. But that's really all kind of the fun of this. And I do recommend trying to not get too stressed out about it. I think when I first started getting into planner decorations, I tended to try to try a little too hard to be a perfectionist about it. And these days I just more go with the flow. 
So just zooming in here, I was just showing you that I was using one of those labels on the Monday box, and I'm just going ahead and adding some more of those in. The first two on the left are to-do list, and this one says remember, and then I found another little flight sticker here. So the flight sticker on the bottom is like my duration of the of like the trip, and the flight sticker on the top is where I'm actually just going to put my flight information, the number, what time it is, all that fun stuff. Okay, and then I love these full box stickers. Like I would totally just fill up that whole middle row with all of these, except that every time I've done that before, then I feel like I don't have enough writing space to actually use my planner. So as a bit of a compromise so that I can use some of the decorations, but then also have plenty of space to write, I've been putting basically two of these full box stickers down. And so I'll usually do one on either like Tuesday or Wednesday, and then I'll usually do the other one on like Thursday or Friday. And just taking out some of these checklist stickers. I love using checklists with to-do headers. I don't know why. You can use checklists for so many different things, but I just really have associated them with to-do lists, and so that's kind of how I like to see them organized in the planner. And then turning my attention to the other side of the planner, I'm just going ahead and adding more of these labels along the top. I usually reserve my top boxes for to-do lists only, but on this particular trip, I was actually clearing out my storage room of all of the stuff from my old house in Charlotte, and it was a huge personal project. I'm calling it part of my project Get Your Life Together. Um, definitely look for another video about that if you're interested in it, but yeah, I definitely wanted to have some more checklists and notes about all the different things I was trying to accomplish while I was in Charlotte. Other than clearing out my storage room, I had so much going on and I just was trying to make space for all the things I needed to remember. Okay, and then these labels over here, I think they're meant to be stuck together like this because this is the second month that I've gotten them this way. So I just use a little pair of scissors and just trim out whichever stickers I'm looking to use. So I had a couple of different appointments to take care of while I was in Charlotte. So these were really handy so that I could call out those different meetings that I had scheduled. So yeah, just put all of these little meeting and appointment stickers down. They actually pretty much all happened on the same day. So funny how that worked out. I guess I was trying to be efficient. I don't know. Um, one of the appointments was actually to take all of my clothes to this super cool pop-up consignment event called Green Jeans. So one thing that made it easier for me to really let go of my things and clear my storage room was participating in that consignment sale. And I just love it because you sell all of your stuff in like four or five days, and then you can decide at the end that you just wanna donate the rest of it. So whatever you don't sell goes to a really good cause. So it's definitely a great event if you're in the Charlotte area, definitely check it out. And yeah, just finalizing that top row of all of my labels. And this full box sticker, guys, is so pretty. I just love all the colors. This is like what I was telling you about how I love all the dynamic colors. I mean, look at that, like the pinks and reds and blues, like so much to pull from so that I can use different pen colors and whatnot. And it just really pulls all of these different washi tape colors together so nicely. Speaking of that awesome floral desert print, you also get a same print in washi tape with the same vibrant colors. It was a little deceptive because when I first got the washi tape, it looked kind of dull, like when it's all rolled together. I think all the colors overlapping made it look just kind of like brownish, but look how gorgeous it looks once you roll it out. Like the colors just pop so nicely and I just love how it just adds so many different colors to the planner. I mean, I know I keep saying that, but if you guys have seen some of my other plan with me's, like they've been like more just the same kind of two or three colors. And so this is kind of a new thing for me to be putting so many colors together. And I have to say, I'm really digging it. Okay, so just taking a little bit more of this skinny washi tape, sorry, the camera is like really bright here for some reason but I just wanted to add a little bit more with borders with the skinny washi tape. You guys, it's just so versatile. I'm really digging this washi tape set. And um, definitely I think it's a good add on if you can afford it because these little washi tapes just really tie things together so nicely. And you can kind of squeeze them into places where like your standard 15 millimeter washi is just not going to go. 
And here's, here's a super pretty like bronzish metallic skinny washi tape. And yeah, just kind of in keeping the theme, I decided to go ahead and take this one across the planner too. I am leaving this footage of me not being able to stick this washi tape down for any new planners just to show you like it is not you. Like sometimes your planner supplies just don't want to work with you or you're extra clumsy or whatever. So like I said, don't beat yourself up. Just have fun with it, planner piece, enjoy the process. And yeah, just enjoy using it because that's why we're getting all these decorations, right? So it looks good and we have fun with it. So trying to use more of these stickers, there are a lot of good options on here. I just added a little email sticker on the Monday box as a reminder to just touch base with some of my appointments later in the week. And then I also put this exclamation down as a reminder to pack. I probably should have packed the weekend before, but I'm a last minute packer. Anybody else? Let me know in the comments below. I'd like to hear that it's not just me. And you guys know I like putting big stickers in this bottom left hand side. I don't know why, but like when I have a kit, I get kind of stubborn with it. And like I only want to use stuff from that kit versus pulling in stuff from some of my other sticker books. So I went ahead and actually just added one of these little cactus sticky notes. So it's not a sticker sticker, but I was like, you know, it goes with the theme. And then just adding a planning time sticker up here because I was doing some planning Monday morning. And then over here on Sunday, I added a celebrate sticker because I was hoping to celebrate clearing out that huge, huge, very full storage room, which spoiler alert, I did. Uh, I filmed a vlog about that, which hasn't been uploaded to my channel yet because it's like a stressful vlog, you guys, but I'm hoping to go ahead and share it because I think it could be helpful for some people who are going through some difficult life transitions. And then just adding a little heart sticker there. I don't even remember what that one was for. I'm going to have to look at my planner again. That is one problem with doing before the pen. But yeah, I just wanted to try to make the most out of these different labels and all that fun stuff that came with this kit. And then just creating a little column separator on the left hand side with this gorgeous desert washi tape. Just using my little cutting tool to get a clean edge. And this kit came with these adorable succulent stickers. Aren't they pretty? Um, I found myself just wanting to kind of like sprinkle these throughout the layout just to add a little bit more playfulness and just kind of draw the theme through a little bit more besides the colorful washi tape. So yeah, I just kind of put these in different spaces. I try to put them kind of like corners of boxes so they took up less writing room. Pop one up there near what I like to use as my gratitude box. I felt like I was using them like almost everywhere and I still had plenty left. And then since the day boxes were date agnostic, I went ahead and just used a little permanent marker to write in the numbers for each of these days. I'm a lefty, so this is a bit of a challenge for me, but I was able to write from the right to the left hand side to help overcome this. So I'm going to just continue using different color pens and the rest of these stickers throughout the week. And that's pretty much it. Hope you guys like this plan with me. If you did, please give it a thumbs up because that'll really support my channel. And please consider subscribing so that you can get more plan with me's and other planner fun. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.